Hello and welcome to Smart Home Charge, where today we are talking about fast home chargers. Now we get a lot of customers who understandably want the fastest possible charge they can get at home. That normally means a 22 kilowatt three phase charger. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining why many people actually can't have a 22 kilowatt charger or certainly won't benefit from it. So I'll be explaining what it is, why you can or can't have it and why the benefits aren't actually worth it in my opinion. Before we get to it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and let's get into the detail. I am going to explain what 22 kilowatt three phase charging is, if your home has the capability to have it and whether you even need it. So what is three phase 22 kilowatt charging exactly? You can charge your vehicle at home at a range of speeds depending on the power source and output of the charger. Starting from the lowest output, these typically include a three pin domestic socket at 2.3 kilowatts or very slow, a dedicated home charge point at 3.6 kilowatts, which is faster, but still quite slow. And then the standard 7.4 kilowatt dedicated home charger, which is our recommendation and is what most electric car drivers have at home. But you can go faster. You can go up to 22 kilowatts, which is the fastest charge point you can get for the home. But to achieve this, the charge point will need to be three phase compatible itself and use what's called a three phase electricity supply. In addition, the car itself will need to be able to accept 22 kilowatts. Let's look at those factors in a little more detail. Firstly, your property will need a three phase electricity supply. Secondly, your vehicle will need to be capable of receiving up to 22 kilowatts AC. Note, AC charging at home is different to using those big public rapid chargers you see, which use direct current or DC. In order to charge a vehicle at 11 kilowatts or higher at your property, you will need to have a three phase electricity supply. Unfortunately, most residential properties in the UK operate on a single phase supply and therefore cannot make use of a three phase 22 kilowatt charger. It is possible to apply for an upgrade to three phase supply through your DNO or distribution network operator, but this can be very expensive with costs ranging from 3,000 to even 15,000 pounds. On top of that, your car might not even be able to accept a 22 kilowatt charge. This is because your car choice will determine how fast it can charge at home. A more powerful charger does not necessarily mean your car will charge faster and actually very few electric cars can accept 22 kilowatt AC charging at home. Let's take an example. The Tesla Model 3 has an onboard charger which limits the charging to 11 kilowatts AC at home through its Type 2 connection. This means that even if you had a three phase supply at home and even if you had a 22 kilowatt charger installed, a Tesla Model 3 in this instance would still only charge at 11 kilowatts. Some vehicles have an even lower limit. For example, the Nissan Leaf onboard charger is limited to 6.6 kilowatts charging at AC, and even that is an optional upgrade on the car. This means that even with a 7.4 kilowatt charger, the upgraded Nissan Leaf would charge at a maximum of 6.6 .6 kilowatts. Each car is different, so check with the manufacturer or dealer to find out how fast it can charge at home. In most situations though, our customers find a 7.4 kilowatt charger at home is more than enough for their needs. So with all that in mind, is 22 kilowatt three phase charging necessary or even worth it? Well, in my opinion, no. Most properties don't have a three phase supply at home and even if you wanted it, it's quite expensive to have put in. And then even if you have both of those things, well, most electric cars are actually limited and they can't do the full 22 kilowatts or even 11 kilowatts charging 
as explained earlier in the video. In fact, some cars are limited to less than 7.4. But what if you have a three-phase supply at home and you do have a car that is capable of 22 kilowatt charging, such as the Renault Zoe? Even then, I think the benefits of having 22 kilowatt charging at home are quite slim. The reason is the chargers themselves are often a bit more expensive and then the insulation is more expensive, but also you won't really notice the time difference. The reason I say that is most electric car drivers charge their car overnight. So let's say for argument's sake, you half the time that the car charges in from four hours to two hours. If you're asleep overnight, you won't notice that time saving. When you get up in the morning, the car will be fully charged and it won't really matter whether it was charged on a 7.4 kilowatt charger or a 22 kilowatt. So you can see why there isn't really much point in going for the more expensive version of a home charge point. 7.4 kilowatts is more than adequate for most drivers. So when is it worth having a 22 kilowatt charger? Well, obviously in the workplace, that might be different to the home. If you've got a fleet of vehicles and they have a high turnover in terms of coming into the depot and leaving, they need a fast charge, then obviously 22 kilowatt charging is beneficial there. And most commercial properties will have three phase supply. But obviously we're talking about 22 kilowatt charging at home. And there aren't many examples I can think of where it really is worth it. The one scenario I think you would benefit is in a multi EV household. So if you have more than two EVs, for example, and you both do a lot of miles every single day, therefore you both need the EV to be fully charged every morning, then that is where a three phase charger can come in handy. Now, as I said, you'll need a vehicle that's capable of 22 kilowatt charging, but if it is, for argument's sake, then yes, you may as well get a 22 kilowatt home charge point if you can afford it, if you have a three phase supply already. The reason is it makes sharing that charger a bit easier and gives you a bit more flexibility. As an example, one of you might get home and you plug the car in straight away. You charge it just during the evening before you go to bed. So you need a fast charge to top up the car as quickly as possible. Then you swap over, you swap the cars over, you plug the other one in and that one charges overnight. So for me, that is one of the examples where it could be helpful. But even then, I think a lot of people would get on just fine with a 7.4 kilowatt charger. I hope this video has been helpful in explaining what three phase charging actually is, whether you can have it and if it's worth it. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them, but I'm sure other people in the community will be able to help out as well. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot, but it also helps me understand what sort of topics you want to hear about. So make sure you do that. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. See you next time.